guys, it's Rox here, and today we are making another Horse World video because I realized I haven't made a video on Horse World since Christmas time. So, yeah. Also, this will be good because I think this is going to be posted after the Farm World one. Then maybe after that, we could do another Forgotten World. So then we have three games for the same people that would be spectacular. Anyway, so my chair feels so like <laughs> weirdly angled at the moment. There we go. See, now I feel more in front of you people. I don't know. <laughs> Cause my chair, like when it's facing this way, I feel I should be looking this way because this is a screen I usually look at. And usually if I want to look at this screen, the microphone isn't just in the way of the, the screen. It's usually pushed up because this microphone you can just push wherever you want you know like i can push it up there you know hello up there <laughs> and then we can also just bring it back down see you know it's it just moves a lot <laughs> so usually for a video i have to keep it close to me in front of me you know so i sound loud which if it was all the way pushed over near that light over there which you can't see it then you probably could just hear me whispering but anyways uh <laughs> today's video i was feeling like just taking some like horses i actually haven't like touched in a while and then maybe like doing something with them you know because honestly there's so many of them i just haven't touched in a while like the new ones touch those ones because you know i bought those ones and whatnot and then i've been touching like these ones like the very small horses i've been using those ones a lot the fit i can't say the name and i'm not gonna try to because i already just almost failed <laughs> anyways so i wanted to do the snake horse again which i already forgot what i put on it that was the scary part oh whoa okay so is that it oh boy oh boy uh really i didn't buy that much for you interesting hold on before i decide which one i'm going to like decorate which one has more stuff though did i even use this like full did i i didn't <gasps> okay well then we'll use this one so i'm gonna like be like the one that has less stuff but turns out i didn't even touch the baby snake <laughs> so we're going to decorate the smaller one then so the other one was like a blue color so for this one so the newest color scheme on the newest like picture i've done which usually i'll post like my digital art on instagram because that's like the only art that will actually look good on instagram is digital art but i posted a picture of this guy named tamakun uh hold on actually i have my sketchbook here do i have a picture of him in here like i have literally one picture of him in here <laughs> But anyways, it's this fella right here. Oh, jeez. Anyways, I did a digital art of him, and I figured out his whole, like, color scheme. So, that's what we're going to do here. So, for the hair, we can do... So, let me just kind of, I guess... Well, what would that be called? Oh, there you go, right there. So, let me just run you through the colors because I don't have a picture of him at the moment or, like, anything to just show you guys. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, he has this bluish kind of hair, kind of like this color. And then, like, the horns he has, they're supposed to be horns made out of fire because they're for an AU. I already forgot what the name of it was. My bad. But, anyways, the horns are, like, made of fire it's fire in the shape of horns that's the well, that's what the person told me because when i first drew him like in this picture here i drew the horns part wrong and i asked them if i did it wrong and they were like yeah and so we fixed that but this is like the older drawing of it so i don't know why it never focuses dude he's right there there you go see the horns are different i thought they were like horns that were on fire but no they were fire in the shape of horns clothes anyways the species of the child is called the crimson angel because in the au there's like the crimson angel the white angel there's a vet there's a human that isn't called a human there's 
three different types of classes like usual you got upper class and the middle class and the lower class you know and there's just like so much to like explain which is really hard to do at the moment but anyways so yeah he's the crimson crim crimson angel which means his wings and his horns are going to be red which the white angel has white and blue and yeah so anyways running through the colors his color scheme is mainly teal blue orange yellow and red i think that's like the only colors i use <laughs> so the yellow was used for the eyes and whatnot so i guess i could use it for the body because you know yellow is just like the small part on it that you just didn't really notice eyes people oh wait <gasps> we can do it just like in the drawing so if you've seen my instagram picture he like so i did it without like outlines because i want to try and get better at that so it was like an orange circle and then the pupil it's not up and down it's side to side like a goat's pupil but <laughs> anyways it's like a yellow slit going this way and then the rest of it's orange so that actually works out there so then i guess for the body base we could just put like i guess a skin color i guess <laughs> how would that look though would that actually look good is my question like it's kind of hard too to like get an actual like good skin color yeah i <laughs> like okay hold up actually i was about to say that it's gonna be really hard but then like i just thought i found it <gasps> there we go see and we can do that and then for the pattern part we can do uh the red which is the horns and the wings so yeah body under i'll figure that out in a second okay do we want to make that lighter is my question let's see what it would look like if i could try and get it lighter yeah i like that it's like it looks weird because i'm turning it into like a snake <laughs> so it's not going to look good because i'm just kind of putting random colors on this poor horse snake oh the skin oh, you can choose the colors of the scales Ooh. wow okay then well what color would i do or should i do or what <laughs> what if i did the teal blue again well how would that look i think i may just go with i mean <laughs> i don't know i like that but i also think i should just go with the red yeah i'll just go with the red for the at the moment because you know it's a pretty no stuff tough decision i don't know what i'm saying no more so body under is the last part we gotta do so his clothing i guess is what we could do that part of the snake which his clothing was orange yep 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 and then he had a red shirt on too because i am really bad at choosing a good like color scheme that like colors that will actually go with the character without being the same color so usually i'll just use the same color over and over again so uh <laughs> oh geez why did i buy this i don't know i'm not paying attention whatever we'll just have to color it red i wanted to get the demon horns i wasn't even actually paying attention at the moment i like saw a horn and i was like gotta get that i was like oh wait never mind there we go and then we put neon on you oh goody so <laughs> i can't really like make it like fire on the head but you know what i'm trying to do we all know i've explained it so for the wings let's see do i have enough for the wings is the question all right so we'll get the pegasus wings you know and we'll make those red like the actual wings yeah that looks like the right red already so i don't know <laughs> now i'm just like i don't really want to like change these but at the same time it just the reds are different it's wee <laughs> actually if i made this like teal though like hold on i made these teal and then i made the scales teal as well then would that solve the problem well, that looks nicer already so i think i solved that we got 200 left to spend here i don't really know what else to add though we could do piercings because he does have earrings but it's like one long star earring because I don't know. <laughs> I usually just try to add something to just, I guess, make the character pop a little bit, but it never really just works. There we go. And I think that might be it for designing a character because honestly, it's just like 
there wasn't much to him and there's not much you can really like add on to the character as well you know what i just remembered i actually have the picture on the computer because it's digital hold on already so i remembered i had this <laughs> but anyways here he is this is Tomokun. Don't ask why I named him that way. I felt it was a pretty cute name. So I'm just like, yeah, we can just name him that. But as you can see, like those are the horns, the fire horns, and then the blue hair he has. I don't know. The colors were just like, it's either they look good or they don't. So then you have the wings here. Should try to make that noticeable. And we have, we got zoom in there. <laughs> we got the eye pupils here. And we got the star here, and like I said, he has piercings right there. I really like that star. It actually turned out nice. This one, that one is a wonky star. <laughs> and I don't really like the background I did either. That's why I also made a PNG version of it in case I want to just go and change the background because I have an idea all of a sudden. But anyways, that's him. I, I don't know how I forgot I had a picture of him even though I mentioned it was digital art. But yeah, now you can understand where I'm coming from with the character design, you know? Alright, so now that we just looked at that, definitely doesn't look that nice. <laughs> Like, I could make a better design for this horse instead of going based off of, like, my own character. Like, it's- I don't know. Like, it looks good, but at the same time, it just- yeah. <laughs> the red and the teal, honestly, I think, go really good together, especially with the yellow. The orange, I can't really say that it looks that good. So, it's just, like, kind of an in-the-middle thing. It's either you just like it, or you're like- yeah maybe not because <laughs> i can usually just make like a better like character design without just like going based off a character hold on let's see does this aqua horse already have all right so that's a pretty boring one hold on i gotta find something that i actually did good on what about you i know i've decorated one of you guys to look like a huge mess all right see I can't say that's good good but like you can see that i put like a lot of time into it because there was literally a whole video about it but like i dress them up get crazy i didn't even touch this one. Oh my gosh well we all know what i'm gonna be doing next video what is one that i've actually like dressed up to the point where it looks nice was it one of the unicorns no, it doesn't look that good. Like, people always compliment my horses, but I'm like, yo. <laughs> like, this was put together in two seconds. Like, thank you, but I can't really take the compliment if I don't think it looks good. See, this one, I guess, like, it looks good for having, like, very little items. Like, this is a character design that I was put together that I actually like without taking too much time having a character to reference it off of it was just out of my mind you know i'm out of my mind <laughs> but yeah this one i'd have to say i really like these purple eyes and all the different shades of brown i like it this now this is what i say that is actually like a good design all right we'll sit down so yeah that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, part of the squad. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!